Hello, I'm Reggie Hayes here with Expert Village, and we're talking about the subwoofer. What is a subwoofer? The subwoofer is just an oversized speaker. Again, this one is like a 12 inch speaker right here. It, it is your bass, it is your explosions, it's your booms, it's your rattles, it's everything. It shakes the couches, it shakes the walls, and it shakes the neighbors sometimes. But they're very cool to have. Now, this one is a much more powerful speaker than the one that we have for our little 12 foot room here. But uh, it is designed for much larger rooms. Now, the purpose of a subwoofer is to protect the main speakers. Your main speakers, especially the smaller main speakers you have, they really cannot handle these really low tones, and that's why you have these. Now, what's so intimidating about them sometimes is this right here, the hookups. Now, this one right here has a lot of features. It has more features on it than are really necessary for a subwoofer. And what I mean is that it can separate your speakers right here. It takes speakers out in the, or excuse me, it takes input from your speakers and can output your main speakers. You really won't need that. The main thing you really need to worry about is your main inputs right here. Those come from your receiver. Now, um, right here is your volume. Mo pretty much all your subwoofers are going to have a volume. Uh, and you can play with that and find out how loud of the bass tones you want. Phase. Now phase is, is something really interesting. As we said earlier in the main audio, speakers push air, but it's very important that them speakers push air at the same time and at the same rate. Your speakers are pushing in like that. Now, if all of your speakers are pointed the same way from the front of your entertainment center, they're going to be in sync, or what they call in phase. They push and pull at the same time. The subwoofer usually sets across on the other side of the room, somewhere like in our case, near the couch. However, usually you'll turn it around, which means that it's working against your other speakers. When you do that, this one is nice enough to have the phase feature. You just flip the switch to 180 if you spin it around like we have it earlier. It's really technical. It's probably way more technical than I need to go into with you guys, but you guys should, it's just there for you guys to know in case you want to explore. The best thing to do is to play with it and see what sounds best for you. Uh, the uh, crossover frequency is the last part of a subwoofer. It's very important. It is the point at which uh, it, sends, it stops sending low tones to your main speakers and starts retaining them in the subwoofer itself. Um, the larger the speaker, the larger the main speaker, the more bass they'll be able to handle. However, the smaller the main speaker, the less bass they'll be able to handle. And that's where the subwoofer really kicks in. Uh, if you have a large speaker, it'll be able to handle the 120 uh, hertz uh, number. If you have a, um, a really small speaker, you're going to need to cut this down closer to 40. The best thing to do is to play with it and see what works best for you and see what sounds best. 